Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Jamin here, make sure you subscribe below. Um, if you want to get access to about 25 free online swing dance classes, check out the link in the description. I've got a lot to inspire you and to teach you how to get out there and start social dancing. So today I'm actually going to be looking at a very popular uh, jazz demonstration. This video was taken out of Jazz Roots uh, in Paris. It's a really awesome event. And I do believe this was kind of an impromptu situation where the teachers got out and they started to just kind of improvise a little bit and it happened to be captured on film. I haven't seen it in a long time and I just want to give you guys my perspective on it, my thoughts and who I liked the most in this video. Let's check it out. All right. Okay, I forget that this might be a live band too. I think this adds to the, the feeling. So yeah, this was a, a great moment in swing dance history. You have so many type A personalities, type C passive aggressive personalities, and everything in between ready to uh, show off for the audience. So I know a lot of these dancers personally, I've seen many of them develop over the years. Uh, but I'm going to tell you my favorite in this performance. Come on, Senya. Now, she's coming. She's eyeing at somebody. I'm not sure who it is. <laughs> but, but she is. She's bragging it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ah, perfect timing. Sometimes that just happens. All right, all right. Sweden in the house. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> just in your face. In your face. I love it. I love it. This has such a great feeling of the same spirit you see in the b-boy culture all right here goes juan this guy is just nasty on all levels in terms of just control of his body and sync of patience <laughs> in your face okay we have max and remy So it looks like they agreed to do, uh, it's one of these uh, boogie woogie routines, I think. All right, so we, it looks like we got Nathan in the back, Evita. All right, so we got Nathan and Juan. These are, now Nathan on the right, guys, I gotta do a whole video just on this talent. This guy is like a savant. It's so many different things. Just a master uh, musician, master dancer. And Evita's like, get out of the way, boys! <laughs> I gotta give it up to these musicians, too. Yeah, pull up, pull up your shirt. All right. Yes. Hot shots in the house. She's eyeing everybody. She's look, she says, I see you over there, and I'm looking at you. What are you going to do next? Okay, Remy's coming out with them orange socks, getting everybody to come on in. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. See, what's so cool is the b-boy community has that same kind of drop. And you guys know what I'm talking about. They do this drop a lot. Okay, what's going down? OK. 
Okay, we got, oh, we got a lot of dancers that didn't jump out there in the middle. I see Sky there. I forgot uh, he was in this footage also. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Yes. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, this, this is so good when you get the audience involved and you get the band involved with the dancers. This, this is awesome. Yes. Come on, Juan. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Take note, folks. Look how, look how still his upper body is as those legs are flying around. Come on, now. <laughs> Yes. Oh, man, who's the band? I think it might be Hot Sugar Band. I can't quite tell all, all the musicians in the, in the video. I don't think I could be wrong. Sky getting up there. Craig, Breezy Knees, Max, Sky, Juan, Senya. Yeah, this was, this was a really great moment, guys. I'm so glad this was captured on uh, camera. Captured on camera. See, these, these are the moments that a lot of a lot of people don't get when they watch uh, just swing dancing online. Let me talk about this. The results. This footage is so good. It's just so good. All around entertainment. And I feel, I was going to mention it while we were watching it, but I feel like a lot of times when you watch videos online, you really kind of miss out on the essence of what it's like to be at a swing dance event. It, it is really the equivalent of walking past a restaurant and smelling something delicious in the air, some, maybe some spaghetti with meatball and, just, and you smell the, you know, the, the rosemary and the parsley and all these great seasonings, but you never really taste it. That's what it's like when you watch the, the videos online. It makes you hungry. But when you're at an event, it's the equivalent of actually being in the pot of pasta. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you have the live band, the music is going, vibrations are bouncing off your clothes, you smell all of the, the, the fragrances in the air and everyone's perfumes and colognes. All of that is converged in one room. And I think that experience just is an amazing experience all around that I think every person who doesn't swing dance, if they experience that, they quickly want to learn how to do swing dancing. In fact, that's one of the main reasons I got involved uh, more deeply into learning how to do this professionally simply by observing a, a jam circle like this and being in the room as opposed to someone just showing it to me online. I don't think I would have ever gotten involved even seeing a performance like this coming from my dance backgrounds, right? I wouldn't have just abdicated all the things I like to do to come do what these guys are doing. I can't see it from this perspective. This is like flat in a way. But when you're there watching people dance, solo or with a partner, there's just something about that three-dimensional nature that makes it a more fleshed out. It feels like something just permeates your senses to where the experience is much more surreal and emotional and it stays with you it really does and you know watching this one it's so special i haven't seen it in a long time and you 
you get kind of desensitized to good dancing. Even when you go to an event and you first get there, you start walking and walking around and seeing different couples dance. It just seems so amplified. It's like a cartoon. It's all exaggerated. And you see all of these details that you probably couldn't have seen if you see it online. But as you linger around the event and you start dancing more and more and you get more tired and you take class and you go social dancing again, it doesn't look as good. You become used to what you're seeing. And so, you know, that's the kind of feeling I had whenever I was in my other dance worlds and I watched swing dancing online. I just, I couldn't see what it was that made people want to do it, like really want to do it and listen to music that's not even in our time. I understand people studying classical music and studying jazz for school, but to actually listen to this music and want to dance to it this way, I couldn't make the connection. It wasn't until I physically went into the environment where I could feel that music amplified, hitting my clothing and me seeing other dancers improvise. It's nothing like it, nothing like it. And so watching this again, I... There were so many things I noticed this time around as opposed to the last time I saw it. It was years ago since I've seen this. But I have to say my favorite dancer is probably Nathan. Nathan's the one, as you can see here, he's got the green hat on. Uh, I think he's wearing suspenders. He usually wears suspenders, but I think they're like dark green, so you can't really tell. But as he's coming out here, just look at, look at all of these syncopations. Just there's so much body movement. And he's not a very tall dancer, but the way he moves, it makes it seem as if it doesn't matter. You can see all of the limbs, you can see all of his personality. And what I appreciate about his dancing aesthetic, there's just so many rhythmic nuances to his movement. He, he really integrates a lot of tap with his uh, solo jazz movement. And for me, they're indistinguishable. I don't really separate tap from solo jazz. I think it, it's just for the nature of describing how to teach somebody something specifically, but in essence, they all are from the same vernacular and the same family of, of dance. And so when I see him do things that generally are separate uh, all together, it, for me, it really brings back the essence of what this is all about. And I don't see a lot of dancers integrate, you know, like tap dancing with their solo jazz dancing. They kind of keep those worlds separate, but I think Nathan does such a great job at blending those two elements that I think a lot of times uh, people, they do in such a way where you just tone it out. You could see a tap dancer in a performance at a Lindy event and you go, oh, that's neat, that's amazing. He's doing tap. It may not be impressive to a tap dancer audience. It's just that we're not used to seeing it. And of course, if you take some Lindy Hoppers and you put them at a, a hip hop event, you know, people think, oh, wow, what is this, this <laughs> wizardry? What is that? How are they doing that? But then again, they could just simply be swinging out and, you know, you put them in a Lindy Hop environment and nobody cares. But I, I think it's the blending of the two that's special with Nathan. It's that blending of the essence of both of these worlds into something kind of new for himself and I, I don't think his movements are elementary in either side like my scenario but I do think as a whole he's just such a great well-balanced dancer and I, and I loved it this was such a great performance what did you guys think about this one this is a classic one who was your favorite dancer I gotta say my second favorite in this footage is probably Juan yeah Juan is he's awesome he was the one that was doing that fast Charleston like <laughs> really fast with the shoulders parallel with the floor it was great it's great all around. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you want to learn how to do some solo jazz dancing, I would encourage you to take from any of these dancers. These guys are, are just simply world class all around. Pretty much everybody in that footage could teach you the essence of what this dance is, how it works, and still allow you to develop your own personality around that. I will say there are some fundamental things that help all of these dancers look uh, unanimous in the way that they function so that you as an audience member can identify that it's solo jazz. And a lot of times, not everybody explains that. I'm, I'm the one that typically explains that. So 
Uh, it demystifies the complexity of a lot of these moves that we have names for. But hopefully you can get past all of that and look at those things simply as fundamental things to help you. And so I like to cover a lot of those those gray areas that we really don't like to define boldly, but I like to do that, guys. I'm unabashedly uh, bold about my perspective on things, not because I just care about perspective, but I like to understand how things work. I'm a principled base guy, so I'm willing to test theories and to test ideas. And so I put a lot of language together to help you guys. So check out some of my courses below to help you uh, be able to get those basic concepts uh, defined in a way where you can go from a beginner all the way to advanced pretty quickly. So let me know, guys, what did you think about this overall performance? I don't think it gets boring. I think it gets better with age. Um, you get a snapshot of all these personalities and you're really seeing how these people kind of are in real life, which I love. I, I think you can't really hide as a dancer. And I, I know a lot of these people not know them personally in a way where you know the depths of their hearts. No, but we know each other enough artistically. We've worked together. And so when you, when you see people in their element and you see their personality being demonstrated on a video and then you can also see that mirrored in real life, it's really special. It's really special. And so for me, this is one of the greatest live jazz performances captured on video. I will say for me, it is almost equal to some of the original Savoy 1950s footage from uh, Savoy Ballroom. And people will say that's blasphemy, but I will say, give it about 20 to 25 years, people will look at this footage and learn just as much from this as they would some of the original black and white videos, simply because there's so many different dancers here, so much talent. So let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. If I don't hear your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Thank you.